Hi guys, today we're going to draw a tree frog. Um, we did this as a Zoom video class, so that was a live class. That was fun, that was our first one, and um, hopefully next time I'll record it properly. So I just did a quick re-recording of this. If you missed the live class, this is the same frog that we drew. Um, a couple of things I told that class is draw it right, draw it light till you get it right, and that's because we like to erase sometimes. So um, what you'll need for this class are um, paper, just a regular sheet of paper, pencil, any number two pencil is great, um, an eraser, so whatever you have for an eraser, something like a Sharpie or a black um, thin pen that we can outline with, and then whatever you have for colors. So for this one, we're gonna use some markers, you can use colored pencils, if you have pastels, those are great to use for backgrounds. So this is going to be our tree frog. So we're gonna start out with our paper vertically, like I said. This is my reference photo. I always like to have a reference photo. If you want this photo, um, I did send it out by email and it's on our Instagram as well. Um, if you can pull it off of there, otherwise um, let me know and I can always get you this um, photo. So I'm going to start with a diagonal line. This is going to be the edge of our leaf. Our frog's holding onto the leaf, so I want to start with that. I'm going to give myself some a good amount of room here on the right side, and my leaf is a little more toward the left. So I'm going to start next to that line with an oval. And this oval is going to be sort of uh, standing up um, vertically oval. And then I want to try and do a similar oval on the other side. So try and get them about the same size. You see that I start out lightly and then I get a little darker. Inside each of those ovals, I'm going to make a smaller oval. This is going to be the black pupil. You see that black pupil in the eye? I'm going to make these ovals smaller and kind of over toward the left side on this left one and this right side on this one. And then in each of those, I'm putting a circle that I want to leave white. This is going to be the sparkle in the eye. Now coming off of this left oval, I want to make kind of a rainbow arch shape coming off the top of my oval and I'm going to do the same from the top of this right oval. This is going to give me those bulgy eyes that my frog has. Tree frogs have these big bulgy eyes. And then below the left eye I'm going to do my frog's mouth. It's kind of straight and then curves up a little on the ends. It looks like he's smiling a little. And then I'm going to do another line just like it, just underneath, because our frog's mouth is slightly open. Up here on these bulging eyes, I'm going to connect with a curved line. And then close to the mouth in the center, I'm going to put two little nostrils. Those can just be two little dots. So our frog is sitting here, it's on the edge of our leaf, so we have to give him those big red hands that are those sticky fingers on them so he can hold on. So we're going to do the first hand is right up here next to this left eye. So over here inside my leaf, I'm going to do three circles for those sticky fingers. So they're kind of in an L shape. I put one here, one below it, and then one off to the side. And then each of these becomes a finger. So I'm putting a short line on each side of those circles. Does everyone see that? And I'm going to connect those fingers with a U shape. So now I see have those three toes, I guess. 
red toes. So from the top of this toe, I'm going to connect over to the side of my frog's face. And from the side of this bottom toe, I'm just going to connect over to the face. Now my frog's holding on to the um, leaf with this top hand. If you want, you can use your eraser and erase the part of the leaf that's in the arm. You can erase the tops of those circles you made for the toes. You don't have to erase those now, but if you want. Now we need another hand holding onto this leaf. So I'm going to come down below this top hand and do my three toes as circles again. So I'm going to make one circle, one circle over here to the left, and then another circle. So these are kind of in a triangle. I'm going to make these circles into fingers by adding these little lines on the side, and then I'm going to connect with these little U shapes. So next to this toe on the bottom hand, I'm going to make an oval. This oval is just going to be the become the arm. So we want this oval to come and be almost underneath this right eye. So can you see how long and skinny I made that oval? And then I'm going to connect my finger here and my finger there. So now I have the arm. I'm erasing the leaf in the middle. Now it's pretty quick to finish our frog. We come from the side of the right eye and come down to the top of our arm. We want to add the second leaf. So starting down at the bottom of our page, I'm just going to come up and now I have a big V shape. This is going to allow me to put in the frog's leg here. So we see we have this blue leg here. This is going to be my frog's leg. And then if you want to finish your frog's head, so just underneath the left eye, I'm just going to come down and add a little bit of my frog's head here so that my mouth goes all the way across the whole body. And that's just the outline of my frog. I'm going to do another quick video on how to add the color. And um, hopefully you had a good time doing our tree frog today. Thanks.